Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Greenpeace protesters managed to storm Liz Truss's first Tory conference speech as party leader today before heckling her over fracking and unveiling a flag reading, who voted for this. The campaign. Group's head of public affairs Rebecca Newsom and policy officer Amy McCarthy unveiled the banner midway through the Prime Minister's speech in Birmingham. With Ms. McCarthy shouting, who voted for fracking? From the stage, Ms. Truss could be heard telling security, let's get them removed, as boos erupted from the audience. After around 30 seconds, security guards bundled the pair out of the conference hall, with one seen grabbing Ms. McCarthy's lanyard. The Prime Minister then received a standing ovation as she joked the protesters were part of the anti-growth coalition. The new PM has infuriated green activists by lifting a moratorium on fracking in place under Boris Johnson, along with backing new North Sea oil and gas extraction. In a press release today, Greenpeace accused Ms. Truss of shredding her party's 2019 manifesto promises around nature and the environment. The group cited a recent YouGov survey which found that 81% of UK adults believe nature is under threat. Rebecca Newsom, Greenpeace UK's head of public affairs, said, who voted for this? In a healthy democracy, people should get the government program they voted for, but Liz Truss is putting most of it through the shredder. People voted for strong action on climate. A fracking moratorium, world-leading environmental protections, and tackling poverty and inequality. What they're getting instead is fracking. A potential bonfire of rules on wildlife and nature protection, and now the prospect of benefit cuts. Earlier this week, Jacob Rees-Mogg dismissed the idea of local referendums to gauge support to allow fracking to go ahead as the energy secretary backed drilling in his garden. The cabinet minister said he would be delighted for shale gas extraction to start in his Somerset country estate despite critics raising concerns about earthquakes. Ms. Truss has angered some conservative MPs and broken a Tory manifesto promise by removing the moratorium put in place in England to prevent tremors. The Prime Minister has vowed to only approve fracking in areas where it is backed by surrounding communities but has so far not set out any details. Mr. Rees Mogg, who is also Business Secretary, dismissed the idea of referendums to approve drilling and onshore wind farms, another controversial topic among Conservatives. Giving his thoughts at the Tory conference. He said companies could go around door to door, as politicians do in elections to gauge support. Then they have to go around to an identifiable community and if they get 50% plus one in favor, then they should be able to go ahead, he told a Telegraph event.